Hey, everyone may already know OpenAI real-time API will charge you by the token. But what exactly the token would be and how much it would charge you per minute? In this video, we will get the answer. Thank you. Hey guys, in this video, I will explain the price structure of the OpenAI real-time API, focus on how much it will cost per minute to use. I put all my test uh, step and the results to my blog, so you guys could uh, take a look. Okay, first of all, let's look at the OpenAI price page. It's talking about how much it will cost per million token. So what is token in the OpenAI API? A token is a minimum process unit. Whenever you send a request to the API, whether it's input text or output text, it gets break down into multiple tokens. Basically, each token roughly could be a word, a sign, such as a question mark, or even a space. It's very easy to understand for the uh, text, but not easy to understand for the audio. I will explain the audio later. So for the text, you could, uh, let's open this one. If we say hello, that's just one word. That is one token. So the input is one token. The output is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus the space, probably uh, 12 or something. So totally you have the, uh, you have probably you have uh, uh, 13 or something. That is for the text. But for the eight, for the audio is different. For the audio, when you say hello, it's not means just one word you send to the OpenAI. We need to convert that to the binary string and calculate the how many characters in the string. Let me uh, show you an example. So let me do an experiment. If you record one sentence, let's say, okay, let's say hello. Okay, I record one second, about one second, okay. So if we open the file, let's open the file. This file just I uh, record. You will see here is the content of the file. You need to calculate the size of this file. Uh, for example, um, go over here. Like this one is one word. This one probably another word. So that means when you say hello, just it looks like just one word, but actually it could be hundreds of words. So when you so keep this in mind, when you speak one word, that means just one token. It's probably hundreds of token. So you will say here, kind of like a one million input token is kind of like or not, but actually that is not probably just uh, uh, just uh, um, less than one hour, yeah. Since it is difficult to understand how the audio pricing working, so the better measurement for the audio is by timing instead of by the token. However, OpenAI only provide by the token. Here is how I uh, find out how much it will cost per minute. Per minute. I open the real-time playground, I start a session um, for five minutes. After that, I stop the session and check my, uh, after around 10 minutes, I check my billing page and uh, find out uh, how much it charged me. Then I get the uh, results. I do this for a few times. Then I get the average value. So here is the result, uh, by the way, if you don't know how to get calculated the token, here's some code that you can get calculated the token. This is just for the text message. Okay, let's back to here. So here is the result. For the chart GPT, uh, for the GPT 4.0 mini with no uh, system prompt, it will cost uh, around uh, uh, 16 cents per minutes but if you have some uh, prompt so here is uh, you can type your prompt you can put your prompt over here i basically i 
um, put around uh, uh, 1,000 words over there. So which will charge you more? It is about uh, uh, 33 cents. So almost like twice than the, than the one with no system prompt. I think the reason for this is uh, uh, here is the reason. The OpenAI get one sentence. After it get one sentence, it will do in the uh, reasoning. This need to based on more. It's need based on your uh, system prompt, and it need more resource. So it's because it need to consider more uh, factors. That is why it will uh, custom more. So this is how it's working for the. Uh, GPT-4 mini. It's uh, so basically the final results with no system prompt. It's about 16 cents per minute. With some words, it will be if you have the one sound words, like if you want to say, oh, you are a restaurant restaurant uh, assistant, uh, uh, you have some uh, dish you could order or something. That will cost you about uh, uh, 33 cents per minute. That is how the um, GPT-4 Mini. The next one will be GPT-4.0, not Mini. This one since is much more powerful than the GPT-4 Mini, so it will cost a lot. Basically, if you don't have any system prompt, the charge will be the same, almost the same. Let's look at uh, this chart. So it will say, um, if you don't have any system prompt, basically they are the same. But if you have a lot of uh, system prompt, like one sound word, it will charge you a lot. It's around uh, uh, eight times. Yeah. So basically, it's this one will take about uh, one hundred per hour. If you have a lot of problem and with the GPT-40, uh, if you don't have, if you use the GPT-4 Mini as no uh, system prompt, it will only take about uh, ten dollars per hour. So you need to uh, um, consider this based on your uh, project uh, requirements. Okay, let's talk about optimization. I do have some suggestion for the optimization for this one. The first one would be remove the redundancy. If you have some system prompt with very long description like this one, you want to uh, have the uh, description for the restaurant, but I don't think that is very important. So the only thing very important is the product and the price. You just put the product and the price over here. Uh, even more, you could just use the structured JSON instead of use the natural language. This way, you could reduce the uh, system prompt token by 65 percentage. So, for example, if you have or the original one may have 200 token, but if you reduce that one, probably will be have only 20 uh, tokens. That will be reduce a lot of token. The second one you could do is do the dynamic prompt loading based on who is calling. So if this one, if the calling is uh, uh, is trying to uh, encourage something, you just load this one. If the customer support, you load this one. Yeah, this is another way to reduce the system prompt because based on the uh, test, I think the system prompt is a, a very important factor for this one for improve the performance. Uh, another uh, consideration we need to talk about is the model selection. Uh, here is the model selection uh, rule. I talked about this before. So the first one, uh, if you just doing some very simple scenario FAQ order tracking, so this one, this scenario, I would prefer use the GPT-40 Mini. But if you have some complex uh, scenario, like the uh, medical uh, consultant, uh, multiple term conversation, like this one, I would prefer uh, use the GPT-40, not the 40 Mini. 
So this will this also will reduce your uh, cost based on your um, mode selection. Uh, the last one I need to talk about is the uh, cost control strategy. So you could enforce the token uh, limiting. Like if the token, you could only allow them uh, have one, um, 150 uh, token. And also you could uh, uh, dynamic uh, uh, switch to a different uh, mode based on the uh, cost, based on the current uh, uh, spending or something like that. Yeah, I think that is pretty much all for uh, this video. I hope this video could uh, help you understand uh, the cost of the OpenAI real-time API and it helps for, for your um, project and uh, reduce your cost for your uh, OpenAI uh, API. Okay, thank you. Bye.